Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about 35 minutes, so we'll see what happens. And maybe a pre-market trade, I don't know. Uh, if something does play uh, come along, then I decide to play it. I'll get the video rolling. If not, I'll just see you back at the open. All right, the markets are now open. Watch an FIVE out of the opening gates here. Huge, huge gap down, which is kind of why the proportions here are thrown off a little bit. So again, I think this thing wants to head down. Well, we'll see if it wants to bounce back up a little bit and fill me at 96, because I don't want to chase it. So there we go. Now I think, like I said, this thing wants to get down lower, but I also didn't want to chase it. So opening allotment in there at 96. So let's see what this one wants to do here. XBI, get that alert in the chat room. So added another 500. So 1,000 shares here now at 96.44. But a lot of downwards pressure on this one. So let's see what it wants to do here. I will go ahead and pause for the time being, and I will uh, you'll let you know how this one plays out. All right, I'm gonna have to put a stop loss up here above 97.51, and this may be a, a th about a thousand dollar loser here if it doesn't want to behave. Not looking so good right now, but also don't want to quite give up on it. Well, like I said, not looking so good, and out there for eleven hundred dollar loss. So it is what it is, let's see what else I can find. Well, it seems to returning back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get short there at 96, 57. So there's the break. Let's see if we can get the break down through 96 now. Going to go ahead and lighten the load a little bit just in case it doesn't break down through 96. It's getting close. All right, all out there. Um, wasn't behaving like I thought. Wanted to see the flush, didn't get the flush, but I got some of it back, so now down 875. Definitely glad I did that on five. You can see here the bounces return back upwards. So just that breakdown, it was knocking on the door, just didn't break. That's why I had to lighten up the load and then eventually just get out with the remaining shares. Um, so feel very good about that decision. We'll see if it wants to roll back over and try again. But as of right now, that was certainly the right decision to make. But I think Roku wants to get down to at least 128. If not, get down through it. So let's see if that is indeed going to play out here. So I'm in at 128.33. 128.20 holding up pretty strong. Let's see what it wants to do here. One twenty-eight twenties, like I said, being very stubborn. There we go. 
So all out there for $651. So nice trade. So now down 225 on the day. Okay, I have an order at 126. 55 to go long. Although it just paused. So now I need to go down to 126.15. Well, now it's back up over 127. Yeah, in hindsight, shoulda, coulda, woulda held on to Roku. But that wasn't uh, the total game plan going in. But hey, that's why we're all super rich in our hindsight accounts. But I'll keep an eye on it. See if it wants to get down back into the 126s. Looking to get short here at 104.15. First 500 shares. Well, with the way it's hesitating, I think I can get a better entry point. So let's go to 104.35. So 104.35. That might have gotten too greedy. We'll see. There we go. So got me a, a initial allotment there. See what it wants to do. So it gave me just a $75 move. Was hoping I could get more, but I will start the process over here at 104.95. So let's see, we're now down 150. So we'll see what happens. I'll see what else is out there. Okay, I have an order at 128.15 here. On Roku, how high did it go? One as high as 128.13. So I was close, but, ah, and there's a rollover. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, well. All right, I apologize. I got filled at 128.65. I was actually watching um, BYND. So we'll see what this one wants to do here. Go for some up a above 129, or no, not that. All right, I am way off kilter here on Roku. 128.60 here. See if it wants to pull back. So now it doesn't want to get me out at 128.6. There we go. Oh, wow. And that was, that should have been 50. And I should be, wow, yeah. Way, way off kilter. I suppose that's what happens when you're not paying attention. But if you go back, I had the wrong exit point there. I had like 128 something at the stocks. Or I had one, I, I was just, I don't even, <laughs> I'll, I will just have to go back and scroll. And then I was, that was supposed to be 128.50, but I typed in 128.60. And I should have had 70. Well, all I can really say is that's what happens when you, to me at least, maybe you're fantastic at judging multiple positions at once, but like I said, I was watching BYND, I got filled, and um, the live recordings don't necessarily help with that when I'm trying to talk my way through it, but that's all right, nobody's forcing me to do these, so I'm not blaming the live recording, I'm blaming the person, the mayor, that's choosing to do these, um, so it is what it is, but I, I would still be interested in this one again, so let's go up to 129.45, now that I have my bearings correct. So 129.45, just double checking, short 500 shares, there we go. So we'll see if it can work its way up to that area or not, and I would want out at 129.30. So there we go. Back in the driver's seat, let's see if we can get the break of 129. I'll keep you updated. Okay, I have an order at 106.25 here on BYND. So there's the break. Oh, 
Well, at this point, I think I can get need an even better entry point. So I'm up at 106.45 now. Okay, so I'm in there for my opening allotment. Oh, and I gave me a partial, so I now have 422 shares left. So all out there for another uh, 75, but I wanna start the process over again at 106.85. So we'll see if that wants to return back up there. Also curious what kind of candle here forms. Six. Like I said, I'm curious what kind of candle is going to form here. Nope, not the candle looking like it's just going to keep on moving. So let's go up to 107. 45 now. So just double checking. Yes, 107.45. So we'll see if it wants to get the break up through there. Very, very, getting very, very overextended at this point. So can it get the break of 107? There is the break. I okay, sent them at 107. Well, that was the move I was looking for. Did not get anything. So I'm going up to 107.85. You can see right there the highest it went was 38. So I was close, but not close enough. I have an order here at 107.55. To try to get short here. Ah, hesitating though. I was hoping for a much smoother move. So never mind. Okay, I have an order at 125 that it stopped just shy of filling me. So this one wants to play games apparently. Right there you can see high of, well never mind because it's gone. So let's go to 155 instead. And went up and hit as high as So let's go up to 195. So 195, first entry point. Well, at this point, you know what? I bet I can get in even better yet. So 101.25. Even at that 95 notice, so this one's clearly a game player, stop just one penny short of where I wanted in. So this is looking like one where I'll have to go into the red for sure at first if I wanna get filled. I said, I like a, a 101.25 entry point at this time, if it can get up there through 101. So I will uh, pause, but I'll keep an eye on it. So there's the break. A very lackluster break, gotta got admit. I thought it'd be a little bit more of a push up through that area. We'll see. Okay, I'm at 102.15, I'm in for, I, for my opening allotment. And all out there for $75. Uh, how high did it go? One, oh, oh, wow, that was quite the fake spike there. Go to 103.45, just double checking. Let's see, so where am I at? Oh, nice, I'm up 25 bucks on the day. It's time to go Lamborghini shopping. All right, let's see, 
30. So again, I am at 103.45. Looking for a big, fast spike up through 103. I mean, if it moves slow and methodically through there, I would not be interested, but let's see what happens. Okay, I'm at 103.65 now. I realize that seems far away, but again, this thing can move very, very quickly. I'll do my best to capture an entry point, but like I said, might shoot up there just too quick. Okay, getting up near 103 again. There's the break. And not a very not a very fast one. I'm not going to give up on it quite yet. There we go, getting some movement. Ah. Paused. And all the way back down it goes. Somewhat close. Got up his 48. Where's that low one? No, 265. So let's see what kind of candle forms here. This could be a very interesting candle. There we go. I personally think this thing wants to uh, make a move down. So I'm in at 102.79. This thing's looking a little bit top heavy here. So let's see if it wants to roll back over a bit. There we go. Oh, come on. Gave me a partial of 100 shares. There we go. All out there for the rest. So, yes, nice little pullback here. Reason I was so aggressive, definitely going against the trend there. So, I had to respect that. But let's see. Now up 160 on the day. And what time is it? Ah, about an hour in. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. <laughs> Uh, with actually let me go and check real quick let's see what I am at with commissions so here are my actual results um, and from my brokerage so total so I made 160 but then after fees commissions up $86 um, so yeah the five got me uh, but the, think about it think where I was trading five at the end up over a hundred dollars so just imagine if I'd been like you know what It'll come back down. I'm not selling. I'm not going to cover I because I went short there. But I'm not going to exit the position. I'm not going to exit the position. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. I want to be right as a trader. Ego, ego, ego. All that. I don't want to be wrong. Ego, ego, greed, greed. All those emotions that I felt before. Maybe you felt before. Or maybe that, that's your, your issue. But think about that. Had I just continued five, I mean, it ultimately went up over. Like, like you saw me trading at the end. Up over a hundred, what two dollars, hundred three dollars, wherever I was trading it, that could have been an absolutely massive loss. So eleven hundred dollars. I mean, I'm not going to say that was fun. I'm not going to say that was enjoyable because it wasn't. But I mean, think about it. Add another few thousand dollars onto that, so that could have easily, easily become a four, five, six, seven thousand dollar loss. But eleven hundred dollars, um, which allowed me to fight back and ultimately close eighty six dollars on the day. So if there's any learning lesson here that I would like for you to take away. Um, it's not that I'm some sort of like great trader because I'm just I'm just an, a normal guy, just average trader. I have emotions just like everybody else. Uh, but the one thing that uh, I did do really right, and I hope, like you said, you learned from it, is I took that loss. And as weird as that sounds to say that the best thing I did in this entire trading session was to take a loss, I get it when you're new, that sounds really backwards. Wait, the best thing you did was take a loss? Yeah, because you see just how nasty this one could have gotten um, had I not take that loss because that thing just kept going higher and higher. Um, so that is truly the best thing that I, I, I did today. And I hope uh, you know you uh, can take away that lesson is, uh, oh sure, you know I fought back all that, but how was I able to fight back? Well, I didn't let that hole get absolutely massive. I kept it at $1,100. And uh, you know for my strategy and for everything, you know that's still a manageable hole to potentially climb out of in a, in a, a single day. So yeah, closing there at $86.
One final thing before I go, if you enjoyed this video and you would like for me to continue to make these live trade videos, then please hit that like button, leave a comment down below, uh, and let me know what your favorite trade was. I'm always curious, what are people thinking? So what was your, your favorite trade? What one did you enjoy the most? Um, not that I'm trying to trade for entertainment purposes always, but it's always kind of, it's, I like how all traders have different viewpoints and angles. So in the comment section, I don't know, let me know what your favorite trade was uh, across the entire board. And then also, if you're interested in trading alongside me and other traders, uh, networking and just getting you know other trade alerts and trade ideas, uh, then you can go to claytrader.com forward slash team. Uh, there's a live chat room. I send out my personal scans every weekend. Um, there's an app so you don't have to say, you know, change your computer or anything like that. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in looking for a community to trade with. Uh, but if not, that's fine too. Um, like I said, if anything, just communicate to me that you enjoy these videos. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, and hopefully you decide to ultimately subscribe to the channel. Thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.